I recently went on an overnight hiking trip on the Dobson Trail for the purpose of doing some photography. This is a vlog of that trip. So it's been raining a lot the last week or so and there's an awful lot of water in the woods and uh, a lot of mud and I've never seen this much water in the brook. And temperatures are supposed to go up to 30 degrees today so I think it might get a little hot out here. Well, it's about one in the afternoon. I've only just made it past the five kilometer mark. So far, uh, I haven't really found anything that's grabbed me photographically to do any sort of landscape stills. So I've just been having fun making this video. Uh, right now the sun's pretty high, so I'm not that hopeful. So I'm gonna stop, have a little bit of lunch and continue on down the path. So we came across this uh, interesting meadow but uh, I'm going to have to do a little uh, fording here. I put my sandals on and uh, this is what I got across. The trail continues on over there. <laughs> it's about knee deep. It's cold, feels cool on this hot day. Okay, well, I've got my pack back on and uh, here it goes, gonna Try not to get too wet doing this. Moving along pretty good there. That's a beautiful little meadow over there. Lots of water going into it. There, that wasn't so bad. So there's the eight kilometer mark. And just down that path, oh, maybe a hundred meters is where I crossed that water. And I turn around here and there's this lake or pond and the trail continues on along here. And <laughs> more running water to go across. Well, no time like the present. I'm just gonna watch it here. It looks like it drops down a little bit. It does. Okay, we're across. This water is more stagnant. It's a lot warmer. Hopefully this doesn't go on too far. Well, I don't know. <laughs> That's the, the blue blaze for the trail. Don't know how much more of this there is. Beautiful scenery, not so nice walking. Ah. This is getting deeper. Horse flies are chewing on my hand. I gotta put, the, put this phone down for a bit. Okay, so I've made an executive decision. I didn't like where that was going. The water was getting too deep. I didn't sign up for a major expedition. I'm just on a simple overnighter to take a few pictures. And I'm thinking this pond over here and this meadow that I crossed, that I walked along, are both quite interesting. And uh, there may actually be something here at sunrise or sunset. So I'm gonna look for a spot around here to set up my camp and uh, have a little rest.
Well, it's just a little after seven. It was just before five o'clock when I decided to uh, stay here. Went and filtered some water and set up my camp and uh, took a few pictures. And uh, now the light's just starting to get interesting. It's uh, about two hours to actual sunset, although I think I'm gonna lose it here before then because of the trees. But uh, just gorgeous light out there. And the frogs are singing up quite a chorus over there. It's a little bit past nine and quite honestly I am very tired and despite that chorus of frogs out there I think I'm not going to have too much problem getting any sleep tonight. Uh, it was a beautiful day. It was more strenuous than I thought it was going to be. I didn't get that far. I only made it to the eight kilometer mark but uh, uh, 30 degree weather and humidity and um, a lot more water than I expected. So uh, anyways uh, in for the night and uh, looking forward to the morning. Have you heard the one about the frogman of Dobson Trail? Well, it's the morning of day two. Uh, thought I'd get a lot of sleep last night because I was so tired, but those damn frogs, man, they were loud. I hardly slept at all, so uh, feeling quite tired this morning. But look at this gorgeous sunrise. Well, it's time to pack up and head out. Uh, I'm not looking forward to the start of the trip because as you may recall, I had to wade in to get here. So I have to wade out for the first part. So I'm gonna put my sandals on and then once I get through the water, I'll dry off my feet and put on clean socks and put my shoes that are dry now. They were starting to get wet yesterday before I had to do that wading. So I don't wanna end the day with wet feet, so. Well, I made it across the water and now I'm into the woods. I'm on my way back home. Uh, like I said yesterday, the whole point of this trip was to take pictures. It wasn't about traveling any great distances. My original plan was if I found some nice scenery, I would stop and hopefully get something at sunset and sunrise. And I feel like I've accomplished that. So. Uh, I'm calling this trip a success. Well, I'm just about back to the trailhead now. I pretty much just walked straight back. Uh, photographically, I got what I was looking for last night and this morning. I'm quite pleased with the results. Uh, I just want to give a shout out to the um, Fundy Hiking Trails Association. They're the people who uh, built and maintain these trails and they do a fantastic job. Uh, they publish this uh, wonderful guide. It comes with a uh, waterproof topo map, uh, 1 to 50,000 scale, and it has a very good uh, route description. Um, and it's a valuable asset if you plan on hiking this trail. And uh, I assume the proceeds of this uh, go to, uh, towards maintaining the trail. A uh, great group of volunteers, they do an excellent job. Ran into one of them on the trail, a uh, real nice guy, and uh, really appreciate the work that the volunteers do. Um, if you do come out here, just always remember, pack in, pack out, don't leave anything behind, uh, and leave it as you found it, just take memories. Photos and videos are good too.